This is Jessica with cutesycrafts.com. Today we are going to talk about how to do needlepoint. And you might be wondering what needlepoint is. It is not the same as embroidery and it's actually more similar to cross stitch. You can see I've done a little bit up here already and I'm working on this canvas that was a kit that I got that needlepoint.com sent me. So if you're just starting out, it is easier to start with a kit that already comes with everything that you need in it. So first we're gonna go over supplies. You're gonna need your canvas. There are different sizes of canvases. The most common being 10, 13, and 18. And those, just like with Ada cloth, it just tells you how many little spots there are in an area on your canvas. And the canvas is a very stiff, kind of plasticky, almost feeling material. So different than embroidery and cross stitch as well. This one has the design already printed on it, so it's gonna be really easy for me to figure out where the different colors go. You'll also need some thread. Um, there's different kinds of thread you can use. The one I'm using here that came with my kit is silk thread, but you can also use wool or cotton. Uh, but the whole goal with the thread is that you need to kind of match the thickness of the thread with the size of your canvas. So that's why, again, having a kit like this to start out with is really good. You don't want the thread to be so thick that it's hard to get through the holes, but you want it to be thick enough so that there's no space in between your stitches and that it's completely covering the canvas. You also need some sharp scissors. I'm using my embroidery scissors and you will need a needle. And this is bigger than the embroidery needles that I'd be using. Um, this is a tapestry needle, so it's blunt at the end. And um, again, it's big enough that the thread can go through and that it's small enough though that we're not gonna be distorting the holes in our canvas. And then if you really get into needlepoint, you can also get stretcher bars that will, instead of um, like an embroidery hoop would leave a circle on here, the stretcher bars go on the outsides of your canvas and keep it nice and stretched out and tight so that the image doesn't get distorted while you're working on your needle point. So to start out on a canvas like this, normally you would wanna do all of the background first so that way any colorful threads won't get pulled through to the front while you're doing your stitching. Um, so that's why I started with all this white over here, but since you won't be able to see that very well while I'm working on it, I'm actually gonna show you how to stitch with this green color here. So you wanna take from about the length from your fingertips to your elbow and cut that amount off and then thread your needle. It helps to get the end a little bit wet and to always start with a fresh cut on that to get your needle threaded. And just put that through like so and pull it through a few inches. At the other end, we're gonna tie a knot And then since I think that might be too small, I'm actually gonna tie a double knot. Choose an area that has a large amount of whatever color you're working on. So I'm gonna focus on this area right here on this leaf. And the way that needlepoint works is that every little crossing part is going to be where the stitches go over. So you can see where this makes a cross. It's green, it's the light green right there. So I'm gonna do that part in light green. This part right here, you can see I've got some dark green around here, but the part where the two parts intersect, that's the light green. So I'm gonna do that in light green right there. And again, normally I would start at the top of here, but since I wanna show you a nice long row to get started with, I'm going to start kind of in the middle of this area. So I'm gonna start on this row right here, and I'm going to actually bring my needle up on the left of that area. I'm gonna bring it down, not up in that area. And then my knot is going to catch right there. And since I wanna start 
on this spot right here, I'm actually gonna bring my needle up on the bottom left hand side of that area. So if you're familiar with cross stitch, if we think of this area like a square, I'm bringing it up on the bottom left hand corner of the area that I wanna make a stitch in. So bring your needle up there. And then our knot is going to catch right there so that it doesn't come through. And then I'm gonna take my needle, we're gonna go up and diagonally to the right and go down in that spot there. So you can see, again, if you're familiar with cross stitch, you can see that I'm going from bottom left to top right. And that's all the only part that you do in needle points. So you're just kind of basically creating half of an X. So your next stitch is going to come up to the left of that one. So we're working from right to left and we're coming up at the bottom. And then we're gonna bring our needle again up into the right at a diagonal and down in that spot there. And you'll notice on the back, I'm actually bringing my needle over this thread that we started with. So that is securing the tail of that knot there just by bringing those stitches over in the back. So you can see right there, I'm going over the back of that piece that we first started with, with the knot. So just continue going bottom left to top right all the way across the line until we get close to that knot on the left hand side. So now I'm approaching this knot here that we made. So I'm just going to pull up on that slightly, cut that off. And now we don't have any more knot and the thread is nice and secured on the back from these stitches. So just continue across. until you have covered the whole line of that color. So I can see the next one, the next intersection is pink, so I'm not going to continue with my green. So now we're gonna move down. So we're moving in lines from left to right, and this is called the continental stitch, and this is the easiest, most basic stitch to do a needle point. There are different stitches that you can learn and different ways to fill in areas, but this is just for beginners, so this is what we're starting out with. So for our next row, we are going to go left to right, but instead of going from bottom to top, we're gonna go from top to bottom. So we'll take our stitch and it's gonna be coming out in the bottom of the other stitches from the previous row. So we're gonna go from top right, pull that through and take it down to the bottom left. So our stitches are all going in the same direction, but they're formed differently. So then the next one, we'll move one over. We're going from top right, diagonal down to bottom left. And then those should fill in and cover the canvas so you don't see it through. And if it's not working, you might need a bigger thread. So you can tell you're doing it correctly if on the back there's also diagonal stitches going across. If you don't have that, then you might not be forming them in the correct direction on the front. So obviously I haven't run out of thread yet, but I wanna show you what happens when you do or when you're finished with using a color. You turn your work over and we're gonna have these stitches in the back. And what we're gonna do is just run your needle under a few of those stitches, bring it out on the other side and cut off the excess. And then say I need to continue with that color or start another color, I can take my thread and I don't have to tie a knot in it this time since I'm continuing and I already have stitches here on the back. You can just take the needle, run it under some of that existing thread, the existing stitches, pull that through 
and leave a little bit of a tail on the back. And then I'm ready to start stitching my next row, which since we're going right to left, will mean that I'm starting at the bottom left of each stitch and going to the top right. And then that thread should be nice and secure in the back after a couple of stitches. And this tail that we left here can be snipped off. And just continue filling that in using the continental stitch until you've completed the entire area with that color. So that is your basic needlepoint technique. Like I said, there are other stitches that you can learn. I'm not going to do them on this project today, but if it's something that you're interested in learning more about, I can possibly do some more tutorials in the future. Thank you to needlepoint.com for sending me this fun needlepoint kit. I can't wait to finish this project.